there, YouTubers. I had a, some questions recently from someone who watches my videos about using the Tempo Weave software, and she had an issue with um, somehow having gotten from tie up mode into lift plan mode, which I can understand would be a problem. So I thought I'd do just a short video um, showing how to fix this issue and I'm going to do it in both the Tempo Weave software and the Fiberworks PCW Silver software since I have both and I'll show you the comparison of the two methods. Um, what I'm going to do is start in each program. I'm going to start in tie up mode. I'm going to put in a real simple pattern. It's going to be a, a 2 by 2 twill. I'll put in the um, warp threading, then I'll put in the tie up, then I'll put in uh, some of the treadling sequences into the software. Once I've got that done, I will then try to convert it from tie up to lift plan. And after we're in lift plan, I'm going to try and convert it back into tie up. So here we go. Okay, I'm starting the Tempo Weave program. There we go, and I know this is showing eight shafts, but it doesn't matter for what we're going to do now. So let's put in a, some warp threads. There's a the set for the warp. Now let's figure what the tie-up would be. One, two, whoops, wrong one. There's the tie-up that you would use for straight twill, and again I'm threaded one through four, so now let's put in some weft. Okay, so there you see I've got a pattern drawn with the warp, the treadling, the tie-up, and there's what the cloth looks like. So in order to convert this to tie-up, I'm going to go up from my menu. I'm on the home menu. I'm going to go to the tools menu and it has the option to convert to lift plan. And when I click on that, I'm going to get an error message, but just watch what happens. It says, you must save this new tie-up before you can convert it to a lift plan. Okay, let's save it. So I'm going to go into File, Save As, I'm going to put it in my recent folder, and I'm going to call it TU2LP, means tie up to lift plan. Okay, so that's the name of it. We're saving it. Now we'll go back to the tools menu, Con choose the convert to lift plan, Click yes to continue to convert to a lift plan. You'll be prompted to save this as a new weaving information file or a WIF file. So I'm going to click yes. And it's offered me the new name of TU2LP hyphen LP. Fine, let's save that. And now watch up here. The tie up part of this disappeared but we now have a lift plan where originally I had just the one, two, three, and four. Now I have one, two, two, three, three, four, one, four, one, two, two, three, three, four, one, four, etc. There's my lift plan. This is where the person that asked me for help was confused because she didn't have what she called the grid up in this area. So how do we get that back? We've saved this as a lift plan. Now we can go up to the tools menu again, and here we have a tool to convert to tie up. Let's choose that. It says click yes to continue to convert to a tie up. You will be prompted to save this new file. So I'm going to click yes. Now it offers me the name TU2LP hyphen LP hyphen TU. Let's save again. 
and now watch up here. It came back and it put my lift plant or my tie up in, it converted it down to only four treadles because that's all I had used. But that's immaterial. Anyways, that is how you convert to and from a tie up to lift plan and back to tie up using tempo weave. All right, now I am going to start the Fiberworks. PCW Silver Program version 4.2.4.2. Click on that. There's Fiberworks PCW. I don't want this. Let's start with a brand new drawdown. There we are. Let's enlarge this a little bit. And we'll enlarge this. And I'm going to go and change. shafts and treadles down to four there we go you can see that so now let's put in our threading for our warp let's put in the exact same tie up as we did in tempo weave one two two three three four four one same same thing again now let's put in the treadling there we go we've got it within fiberworks let's try saving this file again we'll do a save as and it's in a different folder i'm going to call it tu to LP, just like the last time, except it's not in caps. Now let's go to the tie-up menu, and we will choose lift plan mode. And look at it removed the tie-up and added the lift plan. Now the only serious difference is in tempo weave we saw the numbers whereas in fiberworks we see black to indicate that we've chosen that but effectively it's the same thing so you can see here that we are in lift plan mode because one two two three three four four one etc let's go back to the tie up menu and choose because we don't have the grid, we're going to choose to go back from lift plan to tie-up mode. There we are. It's done. So the biggest difference that I see is that in Tempo Weave, you have to save the file each time between converting from lift plan to tie-up or tie-up to lift plan, whereas in Fiberworks PCW, you do not have to do the save, but the process is very much the same. One of them you work in the tie-up menu, the other one you work in the tools menu, but they both convert to lift plan or tie-up as needed. And no, I'm not going to save my changes. And that, weaving friends, is a simple how to convert from tie up to lift plan lift plan to tie up in two common softwares that are available for weavers um, just if you're curious do i have a preference yes and it is depends on what i'm doing for some functions i like fiberworks better for other functions i like Tempo Weave better. They both have some really neat features, but neither one of them is perfect. So I use both. Anyways, that's all. If you like my videos, I'd appreciate the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all of those neat things, and I'll get back to you with another video in the near future. 
Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>